About 200 years ago, our cities were open sewers. Often there were epidemics of cholera or typhoid fever. Life was miserable and short. The social climate improved tremendously as it became clear that sanitary circumstances and hygiene were the cause of all these illnesses. This resulted in time in the construction of sewer systems and pipeline systems for fresh and clean water. Gradually, more and more pipeline and cable systems were installed. First electricity, then telegraph and telephone, followed by radio distribution. But especially after World War II, in the Netherlands high-pressure pipelines have been laid to transport crude oil, military lines for kerosene and chemical lines for the manufacturing of all these products that make our lives so much more pleasant than in the 19th century. And of course, after the discovery of the great gas reserves in the northern part of the Netherlands, a huge network of transport and distribution gas pipelines have been installed and during the past years, many data cables for multimedia and data communication have been brought into the subsoil. By far the greatest part of the transport in the Netherlands is done by means of pipelines. That is only obvious, because if we would transport all these huge amounts, including potable and sewage water, we would need at least four times the extent of infrastructure at the surface and still all trucks would be stuck in traffic jams. Pipeline transport is silent, safe, energy efficient and sustainable. It does not occupy costly space for living and it is much less polluting and much less a burden than this. A sustainable means of transport for the present and the future. A fascinating transport modality with many development options. However, to develop such future plans, and even more important, to convince politicians and society as a whole of the benefits, we need well-educated and trained people in pipeline technology. Aside, present pipelines do not have eternal life and have to be upgraded as safety prevails, of course, all the time. In 2002, after 10 years of preparation, the Pipeliner Foundation was established by the Dutch-Belgian Pipeline Branch to provide the profession with a sound educational basis. The foundation, together with the professional university Avance Plus, then developed a master course on pipeline technology that started for the first time in 2003. The master course is intended for practicing pipeline engineers who want to stretch their wings engineers who want to look beyond the borders of their own specialization, who want to expand their knowledge, span of experience and in general widen their outlook, a broader view on the many and different disciplines within the branch and to share these views with colleagues, in fact to learn from each other and as a result to grow as a professional as well as a person. I achieved from the education that the water branch asked me to take place in the normalization committee um, and for the profile uh, there was asked that I had the pipeliner course. The purpose of the legal education of the pipeliner is to understand the human world through legal categories, exploring legal thinking in the hard cases. The course consists of three successive parts. The first year results in the branch diploma technical pipeline engineer and the second year in the branch diploma general pipeline engineer. The third and last part aims at the formally accredited diploma of master of pipeline technology and for a greater part includes the writing of a thesis in close cooperation with the branch. I think it is very important that we have people who know how it works, how it must work. And therefore you need uh, a good education. I think it delivers uh, professionals with not only the technical skills that are needed, but also with an understanding of the today's uh, complexity. A specialized pipeline contractor 
quality is one of our main issues. The pipeline and study fulfills a long and desired need in this profession. Participants start with a bachelor degree, develop a helicopter view on the pipeline branch and become familiar with the many aspects that together form the pipeline branch. As a result, the course is multidisciplinary. This means that one learns to understand the backgrounds and motivations of the various experts and fellow professionals who together order, design, license, operate and maintain a pipeline transport system. Looking into the future, most certainly we will see a major part of the packed freight transport disappear into the subsoil. Modern self-guided transport units will zoom through larger diameter pipelines and on a much larger scale than is the case nowadays, household waste will be collected and removed through underground pipe systems. In short, many changes will take place underground with the purpose to make our environment once again livable, free of pollution, 